they told my parents that this is our conclusion, your son has autism, and you don't expect much from him. You know, he'll barely graduate from high school. He's not gonna go to college. He's not gonna be an athlete. And eventually end up in a group institution with other autistic kids like himself for the rest of his life. In elementary school, I said and did things as a kid that were different than everybody else. A lot of people would bully me and tease me for all those things. It wasn't easy because I would go home sometimes just really down. But the older I got, especially when I got into high school, basketball came into play. And that's when I earned a lot of respect from people because of what I was able to do on the court, how I worked so hard to get to that point. And after that, I really didn't hear a whole lot of people, you know, disrespecting me or bullying me or anything like that because, you know, I worked so hard. Like, that was my stress relief. What it meant to me to finally walk out in the court as a Michigan State Spartan, I had chills just running up and down my body because I looked up in the rafters and I saw all those Big Ten championship teams. And for me to finally realize my lifelong dream of playing for not only one of the greatest programs in the country, but for me to play for the university that I dreamt of going to since I was a kid meant more to me than anything in the world. I proved every doctor and professional in my life wrong who said I couldn't get to this moment. If you have a goal in life, you need to be relentless and attack it. And don't just sit back and let it come to you like you gotta go get it.